tough first one up, isn't it? Champions League group stage for Manchester United. Go and win you the game and pick Paris Saint-Germain off on a counter-attack because that defence looks like it can be got at. OK, well, as you can see, the two teams are coming out, so we'll go from one Darren. It's Manchester United for the first time since leaving them. Kylian Mbappe, the travelling squad. Paul Pogba and Donny van der Beek are both on the bench again, as is the young Uruguayan Facundo Pellistri. So uh, off we go. It's... But I think when you look at the rest of the sides, United have certainly got enough in their ranks. Neymar playing the ball to the uh, on-running Levin Kajawa. And the challenge made over there. Somebody put on a couple of the kids near the end, the young Mason Greenwood, I think, entered the fray that night. And so for them to get a result and the way they did it... Was... Martial. It's a decent ball in. It might fall for Rashford. And in the end, it was dealt with just about by young Abdou Diallo, but that was a really nice move from Manchester United. Here's Angel Di Maria with an opportunity and a first save tonight for David De Gea. And he made it really impressively to Angel Di Maria. Here's Idrissa Gay. Now Kishawa. Looking for the run here of Angel Di in by Kylian Mbappe and David De Gea there again for Manchester United. Kazawa can't believe he didn't score. Well, point blank, what a brilliant save by David De Gea. Great run by Kazawa, he gets a... Still waiting for his first goal for Manchester United this season. That's a foul by McTominay on uh, Neymar. Yeah, back... Taken by Neymar... And... No foul either by Fred on the Angel Di Maria, so I suppose you'd say one each. A Spanish referee. Here's Anthony Martial, who just spotted a little gap and then couldn't find a better finish for Manchester United, but he'd done well initially. Anthony Martial goes down. Well, what's he going to give? I think he's given a penalty. He's given a penalty. It's Bruno Fernandes, and he saved it. It's and simple now. It is plain and simple, uh, Darren. It's a factual decision. Navas had both feet off the um, off the line, and therefore the VARs picked it up and told the referee. Navas, and this time he gets it spot on. Brilliant penalty by Bruno Fernandes, who keeps his cool and fires Manchester United ahead in Paris. Yeah, who's got the strongest wits? And it's Bruno Fernandes. Little skip, exactly the same place he put it. Caleb. Manchester United corner, which was in towards Scott McTominay. Really confident start down this left hand side. Manages to squeeze that cross in. Teased in towards Neymar. Michael Di Maria's got in behind and he's taken it down well. And David De Gea timed it brilliantly. But now we get the offside. Yeah. But David De Gea wasn't to know that, though, and on a slippery surface like this, you've got to judge those to perfection. I think thinks himself that he's offside, but it carries on all the same, and it was really good defending by Shaw, and then we see the flag. The man that knew better than anybody in excellently weighted ball to Mbappe, who can take on two and Xavier, who makes a quite brilliant tackle. And it was, it was fine, the challenge was fine. There's no surprise that Neymar and Angel de Maria, the ones who were... Crosses in from this left-hand side when he's been forward. Here's Bruno Fernandes, and that's a good save by Kaylor Navas because that was dipping and it was fizzing and it was brilliantly hit by Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, again, it was going. United in midfield. Bruno Fernandes kick, rain really coming down in Paris. It's Di Maria's delivery. And he Victor Lindelof on the move in the middle, and it's hit McTominay, and it's gone just wide via the deflection. And Scott McTominay knows how close he was to making it 2-0. Yeah, he didn't head it properly. Neymar can accelerate now. Look how many Manchester yeah. United... Kajawa crosses in, Mbappe attacking it. David De Gea electing to kick it away, which turned out to be the right decision. Chance now for Mbappe, and that just sums up the PS. Steve, to just drop into that number 10 position yeah. and try and find... one of yeah. Definitely a uh, similar performance. They've been very compact. They've uh, them, ironically for Everton before he made the move 
to uh, parry. Di Maria caught there by Tellez. And the free kick here to uh, Paris Saint-Germain. It's coming on. And the header there won by uh, Bruno Fernandes. And then the Ander Herrera shot was well off target. Yeah, easily cut out. Bruno Fernandes looking here for Anthony Martial and finding him. And Neymar hooked in by Kajawa. And it comes back off the post. Back in by Bruno Fernandes. And then the shot. Open defending. There's Rashford on the move. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Neymar with the corner. And it's gone in. It's a Manchester United own goal. I think it's gone in off Anthony Martial. And it's heartbreak for Manchester United in Paris. Neymar involved. And the final touch of Manchester United won to make it one all on the night. And they will be absolute. Down at the start of the half, and he's got another one here. It's Marcus Rashford. And this time, the, de the defending done by Danilo, importantly and vitally for Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, well, firstly, you can see Marcus Rashford has yards click quicker. But it's been given away here to Keane. Neymar was coming in, and that was good defending by assists. And Mbappe's in here for them. That's great defending. Aaron Wambisaka, outstanding. Yeah, yet again, Aaron Wambisaka. Just follows Mbappe. Just real power. Back in by Luke Shaw. Up goes Martial. It's just over the bar. Well, you can see instantly here, Paris Saint-Germain making a tackle from that type of angle. Here's Rashford in again, and he decided to take it early under pressure from Kim Pembe. I think he might well have been offside. Yeah. Danilo with the challenge there on Bruno Fernandez. Just. For this one too, it's teased in by in towards Danilo, and then Di Maria, and that was always too high. Bruno Fernandez looking to tease one in behind. Bruno Fernandez, and that was always rising off his right boot. Bruno Fernandez. Yeah, normally he's better than that. You see, here's Rashford. Chance for Rashford to shoot, and he does. Uh, Kaylor Navas saved it. Only got the faintest of touches, but it was enough to take it wide. Manchester United looking to get back in front. Yeah, really important touch from Kaylor Navas. Good hit. They started to run early, and Tuan and Zabi got back brilliantly again for Martial to Pogba, and then back again, and Diallo's challenge. And I think there might have been an offside flag up there. He might he's seen something, the referee. Has he seen a foul? Yeah, I don't think it was offside, was it? It's good from Rashford and then Bruno Fernandez, who needed to be more accurate. Yeah, but Rashford, it's Bruno Fernandez. It was a vital touch. It's Rashford again. And then Navas with the save. The initial defending was done by Diallo, and it was so important to PSG. Yeah. Space as well for Neymar. Neymar shoots. De Gea saves another one. It's the first time, though, we've seen Pogba to Rashford. A little bit of acceleration. Oh, that's brilliant. That's what you need on a big night. You need Marcus Rashford to deliver again in Paris in the Champions League. Paris Saint-Germain won. Manchester United two. Rashford strikes again. And it's everything they deserve. They've been the more dangerous side. Yes, Paris Saint-Germain in fits and stuff. Messi im tiếng. Barca nhận trái đắng trước Getafe được đánh giá cao hơn rất nhiều. Tuy nhiên, Barcelona đã có một trận đấu tương đối bế tắc và đội bóng xứ Qatar đang đã phải nhận trái đắng trước Getafe. Dù bị đánh giá thấp hơn nhiều, nhưng Getafe đã nhập cuộc đầy tự tin và duy trì thế trận chuyện tốt trước Barcelona.